I'm afraid to tell you, good sir, that your supposition stating I dread any human being of male sexuality is definitely incorrect. Alas, I feel the need to address one single exception to the aforementioned statement. That mysterious unidentified individual. I empty my bowels on my knickers in horror at the thought of that horrendous creature. I do really hope my continuous stuttering can help me to state the fact my verbal exposition regarding that eldritch abomination that is the subject of this very conversation is not going to be initiated. I say. May you excuse my highly worried state of mind at this moment but I inquire you to tell me if it's true that the hermaphrodite plastic covered insane individual we're discussing is in this location at this precise moment. Also, if you please I would like to know if by any means is there a method to remove this artifact that turned into a sexual act because of my sheer frustration. I have no fucking idea what Pyro is thinking. Sudden yelling made out of an elongation of the phone in slash is slash to express a high degree of torment. I strike my desperate moan indicating and strict refusal in a vain attempt for the immediate seize of your current actions. As the unforeseen turn of events indicates my own safety and vitality appears to be in serious peril at this moment in time. It appears a rapid oxidation of materials in the exothermic chemical process of combustion has taken over my figure, causing extreme amounts of agony and distress. I shall raise my voice up to the burning skies. May my supplication resound on this barren and desolate earth for all eternity, all in the struggle to encounter any form of hope and ache for a desperate fellow who only wants a healing for his wounds and live his last days in peace. Sweet goodness, it seems a cavity has suddenly appeared in my ribcage. I shall fall into the floor while grunting in discomfort. <laughs>